George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. George takes his duty as Jungle King very seriously. There's no place too high, too low, too dangerous, or too stinky for him to protect. Our jungle's that way. Like, for instance, the sleepy lotus flower fields. <laughs> the vine that's not connected to anything. Hey, ape! George can see treehouse from now! <laughs> Disappointing Jelly Bean Gulch. Only green and black, all the way down. Yeah, who eats these? The dark heart of the jungle. <laughs> oh, Hardy. <laughs> George fall for that joke every time. George leaves no stone unturned, protecting the entire jungle. Or at least, he thinks he protects the entire jungle. Phew! Who knew jungle have so many stones? Yes, well... Time for a break! Last one in is a rotten banana! <gasps> I'm going to mirror floor! What? What are you talking about? Hey, pull my head! Ah! And grow new body! George, I'm swimming in a lake. I'm swimming in the lake! Wait, what is lake? Whoa! Hey, stop, big mighty fish! Oh. Oh. Hey, George, no protect water animals! Must fix! You're the jungle king, not the lake king. But Lake in Jungle, George must help lake animals. George, you can't breathe underwater. Oh, ape have point. Aha! A primitive snorkel. Very clever, George. But it's still not your. Are you trying to drink the entire lake? You are distinctly unqualified to help underwater. I'm sure the fish can handle their own problems. But ape! Fishies need George help! I'm sorry, George. Unless you trade your lungs for a pair of gills, you're never going to... Breathe through your neck like a fish. Enjoy the new gills, George. <laughs> <laughs> Is he suffocating? <laughs> yep. Well, run along, George. Better get to the water before you asphyxiate. <laughs> I'm a doctor because I love to help. Who wants balloons for their birthday? Not for free. Okay. Okay. No more be afraid, water animals. Jungle King here to help. The lobster shivering called George help make warm. Snakes drowning. George, come home. You don't belong here. Is that my fine silverware? No. Oh, poor fishy sad. George, help! Be happy, sad fish. <laughs> dicko, dicko, dicko. Hmm, maybe you lonely? Look, sad fish, new friend. Ha, uh, uh, ha, ha, yay? Lobster friends, all warm now? Hey, do you see lobster friends? Lobster friends? Oh, yes. They went to a, a better place. I'm watching their bib for them. 
I only have an elementary grasp of Fishtonian, but perhaps I can translate. Please, please, please go away, please. You're so good at this. Maybe Water Lake not need help. What should George do? You should go home and... Rescue filthy fish! Hey, shark! No eat little fishies! You rule from new king, okay? No! Sea guppies? George good? Huh? No eat guppies. Eating guppies bad, okay? Ow! Hey, who throw boot? A better question might be, how did they throw that? Pay attention, sharks. No eat guppies. Eat other tasty stuff, okay? <sighs> it was bound to happen. At least George saved guppies. Except that one. And those. Hey, you don't listen. Stop eating guppies. Your intentions are noble, George, but you're king of the jungle, not king of the lake. As long as sharks cruise the waters, guppies will be eaten. Hmm, you right, Abe. <laughs> yes, well, that's all very good, but where are you going to put them all? Hmm. Many partial devourings later... See, Abe, no more sharks? So Guppy's all happy. Of course, now I have to find a new place to sleep. Mm. Oh, you right, Ape. Ooh, time for bed. <sighs> See you in morning. Without any predators, <laughs> the guppies are breeding out of control. Hmm. George, know what he have to do. Good. Now, once you bring the sharks back, we can... Where are the sharks? George, find something better. Which doctor helped make new guppy eater? Oh, no. Look at tasty guppies, tigers. Mmm, yum, yum. <laughs> I suppose opposites attract. At least water filled with cute guppies. Could be worse. <laughs> Could be dangerous monster. George. George of the jungle. Hi. We are the Gup. A critical mass of fish intelligence. Before we were food, now we are the everything. Meat? All must join us or perish. Join us. Ah! Hey, did George make the lake bad? You really, really did. Then George fix. First step, bring back sharks. <laughs> Where sharks? Turkey, turkey. Sharks grow legs and breathe air! But evolution doesn't work like that. Well, they don't seem to care. Sharkfish, stop! No eat zebras! Go back to water! Lots of guppies in lake! Mmm! They seem to prefer zebras now. George, stop! You can't go back in there! You'll be guputized! George, sorry he mess up, Lake. Please be normal fish now, okay? No. Without the sharks, we are unstoppable. Unstoppable? Don't you... You know what we mean. Look, Ape. Tigers and water cows have cute babies. <laughs> <laughs> 
George have planned. But maybe Lake not want George help. George, I think that fish has already swum. What? Just do your plan and fix the lake. Yeah! Follow George, maybe tiger water cows? Hey, fish cube! George, have you come to join the collective? Oh, yeah. But first, um, George want to show you what he can do. <laughs> Watch George. Whee! <laughs> That's not that impressive. Wow, huh? Huh? Also not impressive. Enough mildly interesting swimming. You will join us now. Tiger water cows, now! No, no, we are legion. We are delicious, apparently. George? George! George? George, fix Lake? Yes, George, somehow you did. Oh, good. George want to go somewhere not wet now. Back to jungle. All right, George, let's get you your lungs back. Hey, kids, I need those lungs back. Oh. Uh... <laughs> The jungle, an oasis of calm and tranquility. Sweet mother of coconuts, it's the stars of our show. George of the Jungle and his wise mentor, Ape. Our heroes are on their way to stop a scuffle over an injured pastry separated from its herd. From turning into a full-on psychic ape apocalypse. George, they'll destroy the jungle. George, stop brain fight. Oh, no. If only George knew how terrible his plan was. Huh? What, Skyboy say? Yanking a banana during a Class 5 mind war will tear the fabric of reality itself and lead to the end of the universe. Wow, uh, okay. Maybe George not do that. But George, <laughs> we have to do something. If only our heroes knew the secret weakness of all eight counselors, vanity. Did you hear that, George? George know what to do. Ah! Oh, uh, fancy apes, go home. <laughs> Good work, George. No, thank George. Thanks, Sky Boys. Oh, shucks, guys. It was nothing. Just doing my job. No. It's true. Who would have guessed having an all-seeing, all-knowing presence on our side really helps? George, make Sky Voice Jungle Deputy! <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <clears throat> I would love to, because the volcano is about to blow. It's a good thing George and his new deputy are ready to stop the eruption. Good one, Deputy Sky Voice. Let's go. Now, Ape really wanted to go. It's just too bad he had to stay behind and clean up the mess. Really? Oh, that too bad. It's a jungle. It's supposed to be messy. And thanks to George's muscle and the narrator's warning, the jungle is safe. <laughs> Sky Boy's so right. Uh-oh. What, Deputy? I feel a montage coming on. Jungle fires are a breeze when you can just narrate up a rainstorm. Poor animal behavior is nipped in the bud. Tiger know what Tiger going to do. And villains don't even get off the starting line. All thanks to the amazing and handsome sounding narrator. Hey, and? Oh, uh, sorry, and George, king of the jungle too. The deputy and his king return from another heroic day of keeping the jungle safe. Sky boys make everything sound good. George, feel like going on patrol? I miss the action, you know? The old team, George and Ape, working together. Tut tut. It's just too bad George is about to find out what Ape secretly does every night. What? Wait? No! Cutaway time! <laughs> And now, George is about to discover Ape's secret collection of teen vampire ape fiction. 
And poor ape is about to learn that no matter how fast or far you go, you can't outrun shame. Hey, that mean! Please, we don't need that guy. Why Sky Voice do that to ape? <gasps> oh no, George! There's peril afoot! Hold on, little guy! Go, go, Jungle King! <laughs> Run free, long neck horsey. George! That's right, you keep running. I need your help, George. I lost my microscope inside Ursula. Oh, look, it's everybody's least favorite scientist, Magnolia. Excuse me, what? And she's about to have a bad day. An incredibly unlikely outbreak of, uh, let's see, uh, oh, yeah, itchy scabitis. No such thing. Where are you, baby giraffe? I need a scab scratcher. I'm going to rub you all over. Ooh, bad luck for Magnolia. Ah! Ah! Where's Magnolia? Her too? Give me a break. Uh, suddenly Ursula was abducted by aliens. Ah! Wow, George Friend's having really bad day. I've called you here because I'm worried about George. The narrator won't let anybody near him. Why are you whispering? So he won't hear us. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. Let's whisper so the all-knowing, all-seeing Sky Voice won't hear us. Yeah, that's totally going to work. OK, yeah, but you don't have to be so snarky about it. Why won't you let us near George? Why? I'm a star, and stars don't share scenes with hacks like you. That was low. Yeah, no need to get unprofessional. Ha! I'll show you unprofessional. Ursula is about to learn what Ape does with all his might. Now, nobody needs to... Cut away! <laughs> Wait, don't you see what he's doing? Ursula, it's right. He's manipulating us. And why don't I show Magnolia what you did in her tent last night? What? <laughs> that was a new tent. And in a hilarious turn of events, Ape's about to discover what Magnolia really thinks of Ape's poetry. Wow, this stinks. It was experimental. Do you have any idea how long I'll be scrubbing? It doesn't have to rhyme. Hey, 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 hey. George friends want wake up entire jungle? George! Hello! Looks like an adorable little lion cub just got himself stuck in quicksand. No! Wait! George rescue little guy in minute! George won't know what going on! It's your deputy! He's trying to take over! You have to fire him, George! Oh yeah, sure! Fire the best help you've ever had! The jungle's never been safer! What's George going to decide? Keep his amazing deputy and enjoy a super safe jungle? Or side with his loser friends? Okay, George pick friends. What? George decides Sky Voice not deputy anymore. Not so all-knowing now. But I can't go from a principal to a mere actor. How am I going to tell my agent? Now, Sky Voice, George thinks that... No, 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 no. I, I won't go back. Oh, well, uh, what's that in the sky? Could it be a... Completely random, non-character-based meteor shower? Hey, what's Sky Voice doing? I'd rather destroy everything than go back to just talking about it. I'm going to narrate up an apocalypse. Now for an unlikely but exciting mutant land shark attack. And running is hard when there isn't any gravity. <laughs> ah! fighting fish, go away! <laughs> Ooh, what this? That's not a vine, it's a power cord! And that's a camera! Oh, it's nothing, nothing at all! Pay no attention to it! Just put it back. George, follow that cord! Stop! Stop! A talkie box? Suddenly, our heroes stop what they're doing and go home because... Uh, their homes are now filled with... Uh, cupcakes! Yes, delicious cupcakes!
George like cupcakes. Don't listen to him, George. <laughs> Wait. Why George and friends sleeping? And that's when they realized that it had all been just a dream. Great! The worst kind of ending. This is a terrible episode. Wait. If it dream, why George still have power vine? And roll credits. Wait! George think this is it? Whoa. Okay, you finally found me. You're a squid. I prefer cephalopod. Calamari. Please, I can explain. If you'll permit me a flashback, I was just a lowly squid, one amongst thousands minding my own business. When I discovered this cave quite by accident, Tempted by the knowledge it offered, I wired myself in. Since that day, I've been trapped, never able to rejoin my kind, only able to watch and describe. No excuse for being jerk. Um, how can you even talk? I'm so sorry, I couldn't resist the chance to stand out, be an individual. For a squid, that's big. Here's an idea. How about I narrate up a quick ending and we just pretend this never happened? Yeah, except the jungle's a disaster. Squid narrate jungle back to normal? You can't unnarrate. That's just crazy talk. Seriously? Nobody else is bothered by the fact that this is a squid? How is it even alive? There's only one thing to do, George. We need to pull the plug. Oh. Sorry, Sky Voice Squid. Stop! Uh, we can talk about this. You don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Ape! It work? It worked! Everything's back to normal. Si, la selva volvió a la normalidad. Gracias a nuestro heroes, Giorgiapi. Um. Close enough. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. Then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. Whoa. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Tuesday, the worst day of the week. People think it's Monday, but they're too scared to admit the truth. No, it's Tuesday for sure, because Tuesday is the start of migration season. In the space of a few days, all the animals move from one part of the jungle to another. Is it instinct? A subtle shift in the Earth's magnetic field? No. It's because Mother Nature is dumb. And even with George's constant vigilance, the jungle borders on total chaos. George, maybe next time you could make a bridge for the ants? Oh, oh I turn right at Bottomless Pit, then left at Temple of Doomy Badness. Hey, jerk termites! Look how tiny you all are! Stop! Stop! <laughs> hey, big Chicago, go be big somewhere else, okay? Make me. Mm. Tickles! Where are you? Get out of there! That's private property! George! George, wake up! Behold what your napping has wrought! Eh? Oh. George, sorry. George just missed fighting villains and crazy rescues. I know it's a grind, but managing migration season is very important and <coughs> serious work. Hey, maybe Ape take over migration duty so George can... Even the boring work is part of being a king, George. <gasps> Ape, hear that? Danger! 
Come right back when you're done. <laughs> Long-necked boys eat shit once where they were. There. Oh. Yep. George having that kind of day. Then horses go tell it the world. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. So this what on other side of quicksand? And thus, George discovered the shadow jungle. Hey, Sky Voice, what shadow jungle? I was getting to that. It's an entirely separate jungle existing parallel to our own, with its own shadow animals. Woo! Lying, Stricky Horse! <laughs> and its own shadow George. Glavorni! <laughs> wow! Watch me! Watch me! Doofnab floor! And thus, a deep bond of friendship was forged. Toughnab Lua Kimcha. Shadow George have own shadow ape. Toughnab Lua Kuma. And Shadow Magnolia. Um, hey, where's Shadow Ursula? Whoa. Animal in danger. <laughs> Oh, Shadow George, welcome. Oh, but George need go back home. Migration season. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shadow George have migration season too. Oh, Partini bath and flap. And so George learns that the shadow jungle doesn't have migration season. Instead, there's Partini bath and flap, the time of buttering, when it is the Shadow King's duty to butter every animal in the shadow jungle. But if the animals don't get their butter, they go butter zerk. Hey, look! Shadow Chicago and Shadow Caspid! Poo poo! Please, 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 please! Can George stop them? Hey, George handle exciting Shadow Jungle and Shadow George handle migration! Please! George even handle time of buttering! Gently, gently. I haven't fully tested the sand suit. George, I was about to come after you. George, did you by any chance change color? Blimp palm? And you've forgotten how to talk. Again. Good thing I didn't throw away those flashcards. Oh, come on! George! More migration trouble. <laughs> You're full of surprises today. <laughs> yeah! Ah, yeah! <laughs> oh, hope Shadow George having much fun too. Keep migrating, sister. This habitat is taken. Vagulo, tippy tippy. That's creative. <laughs> George's kind of eruption. Partini bathroom flap. Hi, Shadow Ape. Come to see bubbles? Partini bathroom flap. Time of buttering now. Oh boy. Which Shadow Ape tell George an hour ago? One hour ago. Mm -hmm. George can't help it. George a butterman. <laughs> Flaps a go go broop. What Shadow Ape mean only have one butter? Yes, Shadow Ape only have one butter. Patini bath from flap, patini bath from flap. For the Shadow Jungle, butter is a once in a thousand year event. Patini bath from flap! Amazing! Do <laughs> <laughs> you grandma! Mulva! Okay! George get Shadow George! <laughs> Shadow George! Uh, Shadow 
George! Come on! Need butter! Shoo, no, no. George, no, Shadow George, tired, but Partini baff him! <laughs> George, so sorry for making you take over. There! Shadow George, wake up! Shadow animals go butter zerk! George need butter real bad! Huh? <laughs> Shadow George! <laughs> Hey, George know why George scream, but why jungle scream? George, it's horrible! <laughs> hey, you changed color again! Ape, focus! And you can talk! Oh, right. Yeah, it's terrible! It's a marmot! Ape, marmot not terrible. Okay, George admits that one pretty bad. But it's just shadow marmot. Did you say shadow marmot? Nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't handle it. Gotcha. There, and no come back. George, care to explain what's going on? George, do bad thing. George, go to Shadow Jungle and switch with Shadow George. But now, Shadow George broken and Shadow Jungle go butter zerk. <laughs> and George, no find butter. No butter for George. And hopeless. Where are you, butter? I didn't understand any of that. But you know you can just make butter, right? George can make butter? Ha poo poo! Partini Baffin Flap! Ha poo poo! Uh, George, why does that ape look just like me? Ah! George, where have you been? The migration is a disaster! <laughs> Who the banana is that? Moonla? George! George? Wait here! George fix everything with butter! George! George! That is the freakiest thing I've ever... And so, with two worlds in the balance, George corrects his mistakes. Partini Baba Flap! Partini Baba Flap! Partini Baba Flap! Through the power of butter. Partini Baba On this. There! Cartini Baffin Flap and migration's all done. All with the magic of butter. Good work, George! And thank you for introducing us to our other selves. Baz Flap. What Shadow Jungle do without Shadow George? Moontha. Bert <laughs> Nummies! Shadow George! Is there anything Butter can't do? No, George, I guess there isn't. Jololo, cock and doof. Jololo, cock and doof. Oh, must you be going already? Oh, that's sweet. George, get the biggest boulder you can find and plug the bit. But did you see how messed up they are? Do it! Do it now! And so our heroes plugged the hole and never spoke of the shadow jungle again. Welcome to the jungle. Let's take a journey and explore this endlessly sprawling natural wonderland. Or we could see what's going on here. <laughs> Give it up, monkey man! You'll never catch me! George used turbo vine! There's no such thing! Shh, no listen. That's why he bad, doctor. <laughs> Laser razor! Ah, I'm running out of gadgets! 
gadgets! Uh -huh. Sandwich blaster! Uh, okay. I guess that's just my lunch. <laughs> well, what do you know? <laughs> Note to self, carry more sandwiches. <laughs> Bear dryer! Dirt. Ooh, it's over for us. Uh, hi, Ursula. Sorry for waking. <laughs> Doctor, what Ursula just eat? No, I carry a lot of stuff, okay? <laughs> oh, so that's what it was. She ate my Erupto Link! <laughs> uh, what it do? It lets you use the volcano as a weapon, you idiot! Okay, no problem, no problem. George, just pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> what we do now? <laughs> Um, George, not sure if Ursula gets what doctors say, but if Ursula tries to calm, it'd be big help to George. Ape ah! <laughs> know what to do. Abandon jungle. Abandon jungle. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Okay, let's think about this. Until we figure out how to get the remote control out of Ursula, we must keep her calm. George, agree. <laughs> so George invite Ursula for calm dinner party. George! What? George, no see problem. <laughs> George, see problem. No! <laughs> Oh. Ursula hate food. She no pronounce. Horse nerves? No, no nerves. It's French. They're just mini sandwiches. Mini sandwiches. French? Now you sad like Ursula's dummy with no food in. Oh. No worry. George brings salad. <laughs> Ursula, help self! We need to try something else! Uh, I have perfect idea to keep Ursula not mad! <laughs> so, George, visualize punching bag as source of frustration. Hey, tree! Why you be in George's way all time? What George ever do to you, tree? <laughs> See? Visualize. No, wait, Ursula, George not. You like this pickle. George, we're running out of options. George, see? We've tried reasoning with <laughs> Ursula, but that <laughs> hasn't worked. There's only one <laughs> option. Send her to space? Okay, there's two options. <clears throat> About time Jungle apologized to Ursula. Huh? 
excellent. Now, George. George! Help! Help! You hid in the cake, didn't you? Hmm. There's me. Oh, it'll come out. Everything comes out. Eventually. We need to get that remote control out of Ursula. We know can wait for eventually. She hot lava angry all the time. Well, here's your problem. She set on Grouchy. Ah! What? Her emotion switch. It's on mad. Ah, George understand. George no understand. This'll clear things up. I'll add it to your bill. I'm Groovy Gorilla, here to give you the lowdown about that switch on your back. First, you have a switch on your back. Second, you have a switch on your back. Even me? Even you, Tommy. Even George, Weird Gorilla? It's a film, George. Even you, George. Oops, that crazy. <laughs> George and Ape no have switches on back. <laughs> The most important thing about these switches is you must never, ever tamper with them. If you do, peace out. George, I don't know about this. George not know about most things. Oh. Once again, George fix everything. That's novel. <laughs> Ursula, go make up for lost odds. Hello, <laughs> Mr. Lion. That weird. The volcano isn't spewing lava. It's spewing some kind of rainbow love. Ah, uh, lava. Best name Ape could think up. Might be okay. Jungle be friendlier place. Up top, Eight Eyes. Well, it's not the first time we've played God. There, George, make new animal. <laughs> George, I don't often say this, but you are absolutely right to flip Ursula's switch. Aw, oh, Ape. No, I mean it, George. I had my misgivings about the plan, but... Ape! And as Aristotle once said... Ape! So, in conclusion... Ape! George, you were wrong to flip Ursula's switch. So very wrong. This is worse than the lava. Hey, right. George fixed this once already, so George fix it again. Hug for George? <laughs> so? George believe Abe say something earlier about panic? Indeed. Wait, wait. George have one last idea, but it mean George go into dark place. Anyone? Ursula ready for more hugs now? Hello? Why jungle no want hugs? George want hugs? No. What? No, thank you. But Ursula give good hugs. No hugs for George, okay? You get hugged now. No want Ursula stinky hug. Stinky hug! Yeah, Ursula hugs all stinky. That why animals climb into ball and try to get away. Tell her, Ape. Um, I neither would like your malodorous embrace. Your hugs are smelly and dumb. <laughs> Again, George solve problem. Uh, hi, Ursula. 
sorry for changing Ursula personality. Forgive? <laughs> Strong as he can be. Watch out for the tree! George, George, George of the jungle lives a life that's free. Watch out for the tree! When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ain't big, big, then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef. Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle. The jungle, a dangerous place full of danger. Danger that's dangerous at every turn of danger. One man keeps it safe. One man protects all animals. One man wears a loincloth because pants are hard, combs his hair with a stick, and doesn't get doors. That man is a king. That man is... George! George of Jungle! Oh, nice. Very nice. That was my line. Uh... <laughs> and watch out for the... tree. Being the king of the jungle means there's no time for three square meals a day. So what's a peckish man in a leopard skin to do? Hey, what you call George? Lucky for Mr. Sensitive here, there's fruit on every tree. Nutritious grubs on every leaf. Don't eat me. And whatever that thing is. Is, is that mayonnaise? Wow. Ooh, jar food! Wait, George, stop! That could have been there for years! <laughs> oh, this Prussian mayonnaise is a little off. Like the Kaiser, eh? Devilish job, Cecil. Now stop being such a Spaniard and give it a heave ho! <laughs> <laughs> you throw like a Frenchman. <laughs> See? Tastes so good. Not only does it not taste so good, but it holds a surprise for our king of the jungle. George. Now, there's a seven rhino pile up on the... Belly oh. say, need snack first. Eek, uh, ook, ook. Oh, George, we live in a salad bar. I don't know why you'd eat a double beef burrito with banana cheese sauce. George, hungry. Twas not I. Eek, ook, ook. Uh, eek, ook, ook. Belly, how could you? Actoon! You are like a zeppelin, you have so much gas! No burritos! Hey, come out and say that to face! Ow! George, I don't think that's your stomach talking. Oh, the plane will be rough now! Stop on Hey! That's my arm! Ow! <laughs> Well, looks pretty normal to me. 
Oh. Okay. George, you've got a doozy of a parasite. That's a grade-A gutworm right there. Ist correct, flesh houses. And my name is Sleepy. George want worm gone now. Sorry, nope, no can do. But I, King, I order you. Kaiser of das Jungle? <laughs> yes, I love! <laughs> George, as King, you swore an oath to protect all jungle creatures, even parasites. But Slippy, not real animal. He not even have legs. <clears throat> oh, no offense, Bernard. <laughs> Legs or no legs, Slippy's still an animal. George not leave until Dr. Fix worm. Suits me. I've been wanting to talk to you about your unpaid bill. <laughs> George, ignore Slippy. He not worth Jungle King's time. King has important animals to save, like lions. Elephant and pink horses with horn in middle of heads. George, we've been through this. Unicorns are imaginary. They told me you say that. Yes. Yes, we did. Help! George, save you! Ah, this place is so mess! Maybe if I move that over there. Grab hands! Ah, ah, don't touch me! I'm cool! I swear! But quicksand. And then that over there. Who oh, is this over here? Uh, <laughs> false alarm. Uh, I'm good. I'm so good. Oh. Huh, what his problem? Wonderbar! Lots of space now. Slippy! Stop! Um, Magnolia! Um, ape! Um, George, not do this! Um, um. This is what I wanted you to see. Jump! Worm! You ruined George's life! Worst animal ever! That's picnic you are not either! You smell worse on the inside! You called in the right scientist. I moderate three internet forums on parasites, so I'll have that prize-winning specimen out in a jiffy. With science! See? We offer the worm a better place to live, and Slip Slop Glork, he's somebody else's problem. Nine! Too round! Nine! Too springy! Nine! Two eighties! Nine! Two! Life is tough inside a snake. It's a snaky place full of snake, with snake at every turn. George, 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 and a big snake lost as he can be. Watch out for that swing! George, 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 and a big snake sweat and soft and pink. It really kind of stinks. When he made a mistake, he was eaten by a snake. Along with his friends, there's no escape. Then away he'll swing on some gross thing. Whatever it is, it isn't a string. George, 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 and a big snake. Why it isn't me? George, we found a whole mango tree growing near the lungs. I don't know how it grew without sunshine or dirt or water. But hey, don't look a snake fruit in a snake mouth, right? Have you found a way out yet? Uh, George did not find anything. Nope, not George. No, no. Slither left, activating his shedding skin. Pink horses with blood. horn in middle of head. Hi! Now, George, I thought we had an understanding. Apes say they're not real. Apes say they're not real. Apes say they're not real. Quake! You can't cover me! Oh! <laughs> George, there's always an after belch! Not so fun when you is that parasite, huh? Uh, get your vault, George, in here! Ah! 
never realize how hard it'd be to live inside animal. <gasps> Slippy live in inside jungle, just like animals live in outside jungle. Yeah, yeah, okay, that is nice thought, but not the lesson. Play again! Ow, uh, Slippy real animal. Keep going. Even if Slippy all wet and not have legs? Yeah, okay, close enough. George, sorry for treating Slippy no good. That's okay. Now we can leave. Wait. You know way out of snake. That's handy and completely incomprehensible. All animals have this emergency exit. Women and scientists first! <laughs> oh, something that doesn't smell like snake. Ah. Uh. Slippy want back in, George? George be proud to have Slippy in stomach. No, mine work is complete. George is now better jungle Kaiser. <gasps> George missed you, Slippy. <laughs> no need. I make eggs in all your mouths last night. Guten Tag. <laughs> Being king of the jungle isn't easy. There's peril at every turn. Animals that need help. Other animals that don't. I save, uh, the crocodile? No, George, the sloth, the baby sloth. Why would a crocodile need saving from a one-year-old sloth? Well, baby sloth look mean. It doesn't look, oh. Just swing in there and save the sloth, hmm? Sloth, 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 uh, sloth green. Sloth have scale. It's the brown one with fur. George saved sloth. Yeah. <laughs> Both the grease monkey clan and the stink badgerino <laughs> think they should live in this cave. As Jungle King, your decision will prevent a terrible war. Oh, George feels much better, but cave kind of messy. Very nice. Now where are they going to live? George loves having house guests. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Meanwhile, in Dr. Chicago's evil science lab... Imagine a creature so mean, so filled with hatred, so vicious, that you'd wet your pants even thinking about it! Yay! Oh, yay! You're probably thinking, what is that? That, my friends, is Cuspid, Dr. Chicago's toothy science assistant. The doctor created Cuspid to help out with his evil plans, but mm, sometimes things don't work out how you imagine. Behold! What? Puppies? Kittens. Oh, they're not scary or mean. They're fuzzy and have pink noses. <laughs> I said imagine it. I haven't even hit them with my new monsterizer. Ahem. George, destroy the doctor's machine. <laughs> this make kitties into monsters? Ha! George like to see that. <laughs> oh. At least we destroy machine. Hey, what wrong? You need use bathroom? Warning, poetry ahead. Warning. As the result of a terrible poetry accident in his second year at Oxford, Ape can only speak in rhyme when furiously frustrated. A jungle king you're supposed to be. Instead, you're barely bourgeoisie. You keep your eyes closed on a vine. George, scared of heights. You never remember which toothbrush is mine. They look same. 
You always leap before you look. <laughs> when we ran out of toilet paper, you used my book. I've hit my limit. No more. That's it. Goodbye, George. I'm done. I quit. <laughs> oh, ape, you funny. Ape? Uh, so I'm your new roommate. Name's Bernard. Hope you like loud music and a fridge full of goats. Come back, ape. George, try harder. George, be better. Don't promise to change. Hmm. Okay, I think I have a way to help you. There's only two things you'll need to know about bitey, bitey ants. One, they're deathly afraid of anteaters. Two, when they get scared, they... Whoa, wouldn't want to have him in loincloth. He's going in your loincloth. But, uh, George promised he'd change. You did. And our little friend... Henry. Our little friend Henry here will help make sure you do. For this... I truly apologize. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> Henry tickled. Anteater. <laughs> See, Henry and I will help you remember to be a better jungle king. It's for your own good. Okay, uh, if Ape think this best. <laughs> now he tickles again. <laughs> oh! Antita. Say the word. But, but George saved Sloth and Eagle Baby and Swin good on fine. But you didn't do them properly, like a king should. Say the word. George no wanna. Say it. And. <laughs> George, 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 there's an insect on your eyeball. And eater. George, your breakfast's getting cold. George, eat like a civilized ape man. Don't make me. Uh, um, <laughs> Chef, play fetch. Hi, George. Hi, ape. Just thought I'd drop in and... Ah! What is wrong with George? What? Nothing's wrong with George. Really? Really? Ah! George, jungle spirit scared way. Huh. See? George normally tried to escape. He's fine. I've just gotten rid of all his silly little quirks. Um, hello? What do George's quirks have to do with being a good king? Pish. George, show them you're happy with a new you. Antita. 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 Antita! <laughs> Fine. We'll take him to the witch doctor, but there's no way this is my fault. This is definitely your fault. See this? This isn't normal. Not even for Einstein here. <laughs> He's hiding somewhere inside his own head. I wonder why. And by that, I mean I'm not wondering at all. Hmm. If George is hiding from anything, it's his jungle duties. 
So I'll go inside his head and bring him back to reality. If I'm not back in ten minutes, take my casserole out of the oven. Commence Simeon Mind Mill! <laughs> Okay, now. Well, I shouldn't be surprised. It is George's mind. <laughs> While not entirely unpleasant, I will forget that ever happened. Excuse us. Oh, excuse us. <laughs> George, wake up! Time to come back! <laughs> George, stop! <laughs> oh, man! Sorry, George. <laughs> What's wrong? Hey, not hurt, George? Hurt you? No, I'm your friend, George. I'd never hurt you. Oh, George think you were other ape. Other ape? What other? Antita! Is that pretty big ape? Antita! Antita! That thing? That's me? No. That big mean ape that hurt George for no good reason with bitey ants. Oh, this is all my fault. It okay, ape. It's not okay. I should never have tried to change your silly little quirks. They don't even matter. It really okay. You think I'm a big monster and you ran and hid from me? Antita! Sorry. <laughs> Babe. Hey! Yay! Yay! <laughs> you want to go back to real jungle? <laughs> What's the rush? Oh, your little quirks aren't so bad after all. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shem, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Two desperate figures run for their lives, carrying with them the jungle's final and only hope. Ah! How did it come to this? No, seriously, I'd like to know. Can, can we do a flashback or something? Sweet, thanks. Oh, potato fizzy legs. Got it, just one more. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty bacon hairbrush. That's enough for the day. We'll finish my jungle taste report tomorrow. Oh, all licking and no eating make George hungry. Me too. Hmm. What to eat, what to eat, what to eat. Mystery berries. <laughs> Meh, had for breakfast. Squash and beans? Had for lunch. Wounded zebra. That's a good friend. <laughs> Hey, what's that convenient noise? What's the big deal? It's just a dumb banana tree. Ha! Forgive them! Do 
Don't you know how important bananas are to all ape kind? This film will show you the delicious world of bananas. Warning, you will get wet. From your own drool. <laughs> Seriously, though, pay attention. Bananas, our most precious resource and our yummiest friend. Bananas. Like apes, no two bananas are the same. Bananas were first discovered at the sacred banana mating ground. Let's explore the three reasons we must protect these wonderful yellow mouth ticklers. Reason one, bananas are delicious. Eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack, brunch, 11 Z's, tea time, supper, dejeuner, hypoglycemic snacks, regular snacks, post snack, snack, snacks, pre-dinner, post-lunch, pre-snack, snack, post-lunch, the second reason bananas are our most precious resource, they're not just for eating. You can use bananas as antiperspirant. Distress beacons. Loyal and fun pets. Nothing says I love you like a banana. And the third reason bananas are so important, they're just so darn banana-y. <laughs> Every time. I never knew. That banana's so amazing. It's bananas! <laughs> Glad you finally understand what bananas mean to us apes. <laughs> Maybe we should try it with more bananas. Hmm. I call it the thought doer. Know what George thought doing right now? <laughs> You're taking things a little far. Wasting them now. Bananas can run out, you know. Ape, I'm a scientist. Natural resources can't run out. It's impossible. Uh, uh, what happened? I think we ate too many bananas. <gasps> Just bones left. <sighs> <gasps> What have you done? You used up all the bananas? All except for two? Oh, man, did we? But no biggie. There's other stuff to eat. You don't understand. <laughs> it begins. Bananium found in every banana are ancient monster genes. Take control. Just slowly and quietly. Run! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! What are we gonna do? There's only one solution. You must. Oh no. Uh, it's okay. Run. Run for your lives. <laughs> must fix ape and save jungle. But there's only two bananas left. Okay, think, think, think. What do we do? Hmm. Yes? How ants remember all other ants' names? Whoa, George would be terrible ant. Uh, wait, what question? Okay, okay, is there another source of bananium? Hmm, maybe oranges? Those are full of orangium. Uh, it's totally different. What if we disguise the bananas as us and us as the bananas? Yes, and apes chase bananas and eat us instead. It's not gonna work. 
If we get more bananas, apes turn all huggable and not be fighty anymore. But how? Do I look like a banana magician? Like I do banana magic? Ooh, abracadabra. Spell no work. You terrible banana magician. I've got it. We'll use science to save the bananas from extinction and rescue Abe in the jungle to the sacred banana mating ground. <laughs> And so, George and Magnolia carry the jungle's last chance for survival to the sacred banana mating ground. George. Okay, bananas, make banana babies. Go! Try moving them closer. Duh, of course. We can't do it if we watch. <laughs> Double duh, this will never work unless we set the mood. Much better. Wait, George, forget something. In case Santa hungry after deliver banana babies. George, Santa doesn't ex um doesn't love anything more than cookies. Hurry, make more nanas. You two want to play hardball? We can play hardball. Fire, George! Lightning always makes stuff work. <laughs> Toasty bananas. George, hold off eight monsters. Magnolia save bananas, okay? Hmm. George need to look good for final sacrifice. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Ah! This is all because we wasted precious natural resources! Me sorry, eat too many bananas! <laughs> and now you've learned your lesson. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, uh, hold on, I've got this. Uh, right, lesson learned. What? Apes not monster? <laughs> Get out! You pretended you were killer apes to prove a point? Did you really think we'd let you eat all our bananas? We saw you were getting greedy. So we held an emergency meeting to figure out what to do. We came up with a few schemes to stop you. Some thought we should cut you off immediately. But then we had a better idea. We implemented Operation Save All the Delicious Yummy Bananas from the Bad Bad People so we can eat them ourselves. Apes are terrible with code names. So you tore up an entire jungle to make a point about preserving part of the jungle? Sure, it sounds bad when you say it that way, but we had to be convincing. They were eating all our bananas. Come on, our bananas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, we learned our lesson, but you were the real monsters here. Come on, George, let's go. There's a whole jungle of things still to taste. George no want taste yucky jungle things. George, stay here and... Lick this slug. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What? It's a good idea. Nature. It's soothing, beautiful, even smells pretty nice. But beneath all that fancy business, there's power. 
A thunderous waterfall can wear down solid rock. Powerful winds can bend the mightiest trees. The fury of lava can scorch the landscape and heat water so ducks can have a nice warm bath. Did I mention the wind? What I'm trying to say is nothing can stop nature. Something stopping nature. That's overly dramatic, but also correct. Big Little River is down to a trickle. It's an ecological disaster. George, fix! Clear liquid clog up river. That's the water, George. <laughs> no time for jokes, Ape. George, let me explain. River made of water? Same as lakes? Yes, ah! and rain, and ice, even snow. They're all water. Stop! They make George dizzy. I think we found the problem. <gasps> Those guys make log house. How stop water? Mystery solved! New mystery. Who are those guys? They're beavers. They're an invasive species. What? An invasive species is an animal that doesn't belong here. It all starts way up here in Canada, where, otherwise known as Castor Canadensis, beavers are not normally found in tropical climates. Responsible for the invention of the telephone and the handheld blender, beavers are nothing if not inventive. That's where we get artificial strawberry flavor from. So you have to get rid of them before they ruin the jungle forever. Hey. George Wick, totally listen to science talk. Get rid of beavers right now. Oh! Me, George, king of jungle. You beavers have king, queen, maybe super beaver? What are you, squirrels? Get back to work. Name's three two. Huh? Beavers got two teeth that stick out. Okay. I got three. So that's my name. And why I'm in charge. Oh. It's a system. What do you want? George, welcome you to jungle. Now leave jungle. Log house, stop river. Make big puddle on other side. Flood monkey baseball field. Beavers must go. No belonging jungle. Not natural. <laughs> Not natural? Take a look at the mirror, bub. You're human. You don't belong in the jungle, neither. George, human? Reality can take many forms. A sunbeam, a bolt of lightning, or a giant hammer that clobbers you in the jaw. That's just a metaphor, of course. What did you think you were? George think he was a George. Kind of like ape, sloth, lemur, banana thing. And one day, Lady George show up. And George and Lady George make baby George. Then we all return to home planet. You know, it's funny. Until this very moment, I thought I knew what crazy was. Ape, no, George, human? Well, of course I did. And you kept it a secret? It wasn't a secret. He has thumbs and everything. <laughs> After I found you in the orphan storm, we knew right away that you were human. And that your diaper smelled really bad. At first, you tried to be an ape. That didn't work out. Neither did being a bird. But soon you found your own identity and became king of the jungle. <laughs> And the jungle needs its king to stop those beavers. But George, human now. If beavers no belong in jungle, neither does human George. Ha! Are you kidding? We humans go wherever we want, do whatever we want, take whatever we want. We rule the planet, see? What you gonna do, huh? Cry? Cry like a big sad crying ape, huh? Huh? Stop! Stop, stop it! I'll put you in the circus. Leave me alone. Magnolia's annoying, but also right. You just need to discover what it means to be human. Then you'll understand why you belong here as king of the jungle. But how George learned to be human, eh? How? If only we knew a human who could teach you. Hmm? Forget it. I'm not. Now, you two, be human. Okay, first thing you gotta learn, George, is that we humans are crazy smart. We think. Animals just do stuff or whatever. See? I'd never do that, cause I use my brain. Ah, here's a perfect example. I'm thinking what that crocodile could want. Hmm, 
firm. It probably just wants a kiss or something, so I think it's harmless. Ta da! Uh... And we humans are never wrong. <laughs> ah! That. You throw a good crocodile. The witch doctor is human. At least I think he is. Maybe he can help. Be gone, shark that blew. I have banished the evil shark from your lawn. A him. Mm -mm. Elephants make the best BLTs in the jungle. Shark monkey fit? But let Abernathy go. <laughs> yeah, well, next time, don't miss your cue. Oh, phew. Hey, elephants! It's okay! No shark! Just weird monkey! I tricked them. But why humans trick animals? Duh, for a bag of sandwiches. <laughs> Wait! George not learned enough yet! <sighs> You did the right thing, George. Cheer up! Look, I'm the shark monkey! Wait, I'm not. It's a hat! It's just a hat! <laughs> There's only one more human who might be able to help. Hey, George scared. Desperate times call for desperate... <laughs> Wait, we need your help! George not know how to be human. <laughs> Ursula teach George? <laughs> <laughs> Only one thing you need to know. This was a terrible idea. <laughs> hey? Being human means being scary. All animal afraid of Ursula. Hey, wake up, babe! Hey! <laughs> Good. Now Ursula can scare him again later. <laughs> I saw the other side. Okay. If George have to be human, then human have George to be. What? <laughs> this is beaver country now. Hey, beaver teeth! George know himself now. Beavers in big human trouble. Oh, really? And what are you gonna do, human? George use human pinky brain. <laughs> I ain't got all day, bub. Huh? Okay. Then George use human tricky trick. Look, big monster behind you. Mm, nah. Fine. Then George use human scary face. Use your what? <laughs> like I said before, humans don't belong in the jungle. And you are one terrible human. Beaver right. George, no good at thinking, no good being tricky, no good being scary. George, bad human. You saved Magnolia, stopped the witch doctor from lying, and brought me back from the afterlife. You may be a terrible human, but you're a great George, and this is where you belong. <laughs> Don't feel bad you're lost. We chew down trees and build awesome stuff. It's our thing. Chew trees? Yeah. <laughs> Those logs! Buddy, logs are trees! Logs are trees? George bash into trees all the time! Human George can't get rid of beavers, but George George can bash down log tree piles! How? There aren't any trees left to swing from. There be one! The tallest tree of all! Tree known to ages as Tim. <laughs> What's he doing? He's being himself. He's being George. Which one of you jokers left the tallest tree in the jungle? Huh? Ah, figures. Boss! And that's why 
by George King and Malong in Jungle. And George finally realized that his nature was not a human nature. It was his own. Talky Skyboy's right. George, lousy human. But George, good George. And all it took was the jungle to be clear-cut and flooded. Maybe you wrecked a dam, but you made an enemy. An enemy with three keys! You can be George Enemy. You can be whatever you want. George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ain't they ain't they, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shem, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friends are you and me! It's a beautiful morning in the jungle as its inhabitants wait to face another day of fighting for their very survival. Hey, get off me! We had a deal, Bernard! Oh, oh! That's how it's gonna be! Fine! Is your spleen ticklish, huh? <laughs> okay, Magnolia, get it together. You're living the dream. Nothing like the life of a jungle scientist. <laughs> nope. Nope. No. -uh. Two weeks in a row. Oh. <laughs> You can do this. You're tough. You're ready. You're a jungle scientist. You're Magnolia! Why? Why does everything here hate me so much? Oh. Mmm. <gasps> Thank you, Patrick. Uh... <laughs> 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 the devil. Uh -oh. <laughs> We'd love to. Life good here. You said it, George. Uh, uh, Magnolia, please have nice time too. Bernard, that's me. Are you okay, Magnolia? I don't belong here. No one belongs in Snake. No, I mean you all belong in the jungle. I don't. I'm just a science geek in bad cargo shorts. Even the quicksand has it out for me. No, you part of jungle, just like us. Indeed. All you need is a little cheering up. What I need is to go back to my tent, have a cry, and write my resignation letter. Hey, right. We take you for super cheer up jungle fun trip. I really don't want to. Do it. How did you? Don't worry about that. We're here for fun. Cannonball! Wait! <laughs> that pot's full of piranha! <laughs> <laughs> it okay, Magnolia. We ran a good pals. See, we all jungle friends. Well, okay then. Cannonball! <laughs> Oh, 
Make me forget they like foreign food. Mmm, oh. tasty lunch. Dig in, Magnolia. They're organic and free range. Have these ever been tested? I mean, how do you know if they're safe to eat? Um, oh, George eats some city with Tiny George. Mm, no problem. And we apes have enjoyed burger trees for generations. Okay. Mm, you guys are right. It's delicious. <laughs> how were you to know you were allergic? I should have guessed. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Some secret I'm not jungle enough to know? Yes, I mean, no. No, 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 no secret. We were just discussing what fun place to go next. Yes, come now, come. This is dumb. I should just go. <laughs> hey, wait, I've never been to this part of the jungle before. Hey, I, I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh, poop. Great! Just one more reason why I don't belong here. Even my so-called friends forgot about me. I'll go back to my tent and then back to the city. Which way is my tent? That way? Uh, uh oh, maybe through there. No, no, it, it's gotta be past that tree. Huh. What's he looking at? And whatever it is, must be delicious. It's me, isn't it? I'm delicious. <laughs> okay, okay. I know we went south this morning, so my tent has to be north. Uh, okay, lucky compass. Don't fail me. No! No! North! North! How do I find north? And... You're a magnet! Why is my life so hard? There's gotta be a way across. Use those degrees, Magnolia. If I pluck a feather from that bird, it'll squawk and wake up that snake, which will push over that rock, which will roll or knock over that tree, then domino those trees and make a bridge across the chasm. Yes! I knew Jungle Physics 202 wasn't a waste! It either, buddy, but it's the only way. Where's your spleen? Yes! Ha! Take that! What you gonna do now, pussycat, huh? Fly! Just go log to log. You can do this. Oh my gosh, the teeth! How can I tell the logs from the crocodiles? Oh, I hate you, evolution! My piggies are so blistered, I bet I can feel the difference. Croc! Log, log, croc! Log, croc, croc, croc! Log, log! Because tigers never give up the hunt. They're jerks like that. Ape? You've been here the whole time, you fuzzy little... <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, I get it. This is where I go nuts from being alone and starving in a cave for a month. <laughs> oh, 
may be crazy only way survive. Thanks for nothing. I'm still stuck in this stupid cave. Not stupid. Smart. You smart to hide in here. Except you not notice jungle vending machine. That's kind of dumb. Magnolia's smart about science and jungle. So use brain thinky thing one more time to beat Tiger. Me believe in you. What do you know? You're just a pile of <laughs> rotten coconuts. But maybe, maybe you're right. What kind of jungle scientist would I be if I let this jungle beat me? Time, baby. Jungle science rules. Whoa, that's not. <laughs> yes, I win. I win. <laughs> Finally. What? We wanted to surprise you with a little celebration of your jungle anniversary. But you forgot me in the jungle. We just needed a little time to set up your surprise party. I was lost for six months. Yeah, we think that's strange too, especially since we only lose you over there. And left you a map, food, and an arrow pointing this way. But wow! You survive alone for six months? You as jungle as us for sure. <laughs> Let's put that to the test. But run! <laughs> George may be king of the jungle. But he's definitely not king of ideas. What's wrong, George? <sighs> George needs to stop Jerk Eagle from eating cute meerkats. Every time George turn away, Eagle... <laughs> hey, Jerk Eagle! What'd George do to save meerkats? Remember when those jungle pigeons wouldn't stay off my tent? I made a scarecrow to keep them away. If anything, more pigeons came to laugh at it. So whatever you do, don't do... <laughs> hey! George C. Oh, you didn't hear what I. Ta -da! Good idea, Magnolia. <laughs> George, not know how you do it. Is that how you see me, Ursula? George need help. How George get baby lever across river and home to family? Duh! Use canoe. Or raft, or bridge. Ah, good idea, Ursula. Um, which one? <laughs> Thank you, Ursula. <laughs> uh, hello. What George do now? George, you can't rely on other people for ideas. You need to come up with them yourself. Ah, huh? George, an antelope is stranded on that high ledge. <gasps> Antelope in danger! Indeed! Quick, what do you do? Um, uh, George escaped for idea! But I've been eaten by a crocodile! What? <laughs> George cried because he missed eight! But the antelope still needs your help! George! Yes? Ask Ursula! Oh, you can't. She's. Return to her home planet. <laughs> George's world collapsed. What if there's no one to ask? What if you have to come up with an idea by yourself? <laughs> now you never leave George, and he always has someone to ask what to do. George, you're missing the point. <laughs> Ursula Matt, take it out on Magnolia! What? Why? Why? Ah! 
George want to help Magnolia, but George lousy at ideas. Apparently so, though I've never noticed it in any other episode. Hmm. <gasps> what a coincidence! This is an idea rock. If you find yourself wondering what to do, just ask it for ideas. Oh. Idea rock have name? Um, sure. It's... Presley. Okay. Hey, Presley, what George do? Ooh, Presley's smart. He say, whoa. <laughs> yes, that's a good idea. I'll do that. Um, Ape okay? Ape's fine. He just has a bunch of to-dos. To do. Ape! Ape! Ow! Uh, what ape doing? Maybe George help? Doing? I'm not doing anything. With that, Presley? Yep. Ape definitely doing something. Relax, George. Slow down. Grab a tree and dangle. Yeah. You should hang upside down for a while. It's so amazing. Magnolia, why you hate Treehouse too? We no hate Treehouse. We no hate anything. Ursula, you no angry. Ursula never angry. See? Big smile. Yay! No thanks, Presley. Me not thirsty. George need to get to bottom of strange mystery. George said he not thirsty. Fine. You very pushy for rock. Sloth on shoulder! Look through glassy backwash! Mmm. Thank you, George. Delicious. See you later. We have to bounce. What George do? Presley, George needs save friends idea real bad. Okay, if Presley insist. <laughs> Where they go with invisible shoulder sloths? What they building? Ooh, that good question too, Presley. <gasps> Holy rock bananas! <laughs> Excellent, my sloth chums. Soon we shall dominate this planet like we dominate afternoon naps. Okay, Presley. George hazy on details, but bit about Earth domination sound bad. What? Where? George, stop, evil sloth! But how? Are uh, you sure, Presley? Okay, if you say so. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> great idea, Presley! <laughs> oh, man! Where's my dynamite? Where to go? George, never tell. Oh, no! Now you've done it! We're doomed! Game over, man! That's right! George and Presley save Earth from evil slobs! No, man! When I say we're doomed, I mean you and me, not them! I was trying to stop all this. Uh, George and Presley no understand. You do flashback? <sighs> Fine. My name is Slothocles. And like all sloths, I'm not from your world. We sloths come from another slower dimension, man. I arrived here many years ago with a sloth scout team. We were sent to discover your weaknesses, but instead fell in love with your world. Specifically, your fudge. This is the only dimension that contains the glory that is fudge, man. Instead of completing our mission, we decided to make Earth our new home. I hope the rest of our evil race would forget about us, but that was not meant to be. My people have enslaved your friends with their sloth powers of suggestion. Wait, how come evil sloth's invisible and you not? We sloths use an advanced mind-phasing technique to turn invisible at whim. But I'm too lazy. Oh, and it's easily neutralized by backwash. 
This is also the only dimension with backwash technology, man. Um, George, could I borrow those goggles? It'll just make things easier for everyone. Sure thing, Sky Voice. Much better. That's a time break. When it's yanked, it'll slow time to match the sloth dimension. Then sloths will be the fastest things on this planet, man. When the sloth army comes through the portal, we'll subdue this world in the blink of an eye. I was gonna blow that thing sky high, but someone ate my explosives. Presley, how to save everyone? George, need idea, quick. Hmm, uh-huh. Oh yeah, oh I see. Okay, sure hope it worked. Good luck. George really hoping that do it. Get him! Get Go him! George. Get him! <laughs> Presley, what plan B? George, watch out for the sloth! I am the sloth commander, but you may call me Peanut. Listen and do my bidding, ape man. You are powerless to resist. Whatever Peanut say, George do. <sighs> there goes the neighborhood, man. The whole dimension, really. Who better to pull the time break than the king of the jungle? This planet is ours. No. No. George, make own idea. <laughs> That's likely. You failed at it this entire episode. Yes! What? <laughs> Wind blow you off! You have to go into hyperspeed to knock me loose. Look out! George, free! Get, get him! him. Oh, get oh, him! Stop him! Get oh, him! Stop. If slots want time to slow down, maybe better idea <gasps> to speed up. Where did all Where these slots he... come from? No, my invasion. Cheer up, have some fun. Mm, this is really good. I know, right? Now get lost. No, I want more fun. George. You single-handedly saved us from sloth domination. I knew you had good ideas. Ah, uh, George not do much. Sloth the Glees and Presley have all good ideas. All I did was ask you to stop them. And Presley is just a stone. I only pretended it was an idea rock to boost your confidence. George learned important lesson today. He learned... Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, George get it. Um, uh, water wet? No, George learned that yesterday. Um, ooh, fire hot! Huh. You know? <gasps> Maybe I should find a planet where I'm more appreciated. George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. <laughs> Watch out for that tree! Watch out for the tree! When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. A ape, 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 then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship. Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me! Particularly fine today. La di da. Oh my! <laughs> what are you? I'm a beaver, and you're lunch. <laughs> Man, he ate me. <gasps> Poor Owen. He ate you. You heard me. And then that. 
dirty furred flat tail turned to me and said, Tell all your jungle friends we're back and we're hungry. Then he ate me. But you just said. And then he had a lion and a hippo and even a shark. No, two sharks. He ate every piece of food he could find. <laughs> Holy bananas! George, glad you make it out okay. His uh, appetite was unstoppable. But uh, beavers only eat wood. Do I look like a beaverologist? All I know is what I saw. But... What a crazy cute little chinchilla lie to you. It's Owen right. Chinchilla's the cutest. And George already tell beavers not to be in jungle. Uh, beavers back for sure. I think you're right. George, watch out for this! Three, two! Hey, Georgie boy! Long time no see! Long time not long enough. Whoa, you're not still mad about that little dam I built, are you? That was half a season ago. I see. Look, I was in a bad place then, but that's why I'm back, to make up for what we did. So, you know eat sharks? What? I've never even seen a shark. I mean, I know what they are. I've seen them in books. But no, I don't eat sharks. Why would you ask me that? Uh, uh, uh... What's he doing? What's that noise mean? He wants to hug it out. He forgives you. You too, buddy. You too. Uh, 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 and you believe him? Someone is eating everything in the jungle. Papayas, avocados, hams. They're all gone. Well, who else could it be? Those flat tails have big teeth, big mouths, and big bellies. George, go see beavers already. They nice. We hug. If you're so sure everything's fine, then give us some of your food. Sure. <laughs> you cute when you hungry. Who wants snacks? <laughs> Food stolen! Wow, who would do such a thing? Wood chips? Maple syrup can? Damn build a monthly? <laughs> That's a beaver magazine! But three tooths say beaver's all good now. Maybe he not tell the beaver truth. They don't seem to be eating everything. Maybe they not hungry now? <gasps> hmm, something's going on around here. Ooh, ooh. We do steak out? We do steak out? We do steak out. <laughs> I brought coffee and banana donuts. Me no care about donuts, Dave. George want answers now. <sighs> This isn't good cop, bad cop, George. At least not yet, remember? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, donut pancake? They really like logs, huh? I'll be right back. Ooh. Hi! <laughs> Whoa, that lot of food. Uh, yes, and uh, look how cute I am. Oh, man, you super cute. <laughs> okay, bye. What did I miss? Nah, nothing suspicious. What's he eating back there? That 110% suspicious. We go undercover. What are you doing here? And why are you dressed like a tree? And I, I'm gonna say, careful? Yeah. Hold on. If you're gonna accuse me of building a giant robotic war beaver, you're way out of. What? What? No. We accuse you of stealing all food in jungle. What under type, huh? Huh? A friendship statue. That I was carving. <laughs> It's clear that we beavers aren't wanted here. And that hurts. It hurts bad. Come on, guys. Let's go someplace where people don't judge you on the size of your teeth or the flatness of your tail. Uh, Ape, George feel he do something wrong there. 
Oh. What are you doing with all those bananas, Owen? Um, I'm hiding from those dirty huh? flat tails. Yes, <coughs> they're right behind me. But beavers leave jungle. Uh, um, uh. Chinchillas, it's go time. Everyone in this stupid jungle! <laughs> hey, what jungle ever do to you? It's the worst! It's like a sauna out here! And do not even get me started on the pitting! But not any longer! Not with Amy! Good origin, I will explain for you via these clips from the DVD bonus featurette, The Making of Amy. We fed her and trained her. And then we fed her some more. And just as we planned, she grew. And grew. And grew. The beavers with their dams and water were our only threat. And now they're gone. <laughs> Amy's gonna tear down your stupid jungle. Then we'll build our home. We'll put cages up, maybe big cardboard boxes, and tons of exercise oils. Aww, you're so cute when you angry. I'm not cute! Aww. What if we just built those things for you? Exercise wheels and such. Away from water? You, 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 you do that for us? Oh, wow, uh, I guess I, 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 mean, I guess I should have asked first. <laughs> oh boy, this is embarrassing. Uh, it's okay, Gus, call Amy off. We came now. she's real angry about all the training we put her through, and hungry. Uh, slide hit. <laughs> and as Amy tore through the jungle, George had a very strange dream. In it, he and Three Tooths danced under a waterfall by a rainbow. Owen was there too, but he wouldn't go near the water. And he had a little chinchilla-sized umbrella, which was really cute. Also, there were arm wrestling unicorns. And when he awoke, George knew exactly what he had to do. <gasps> George need to arm wrestle unicorns! What? But first, we get beavers to build giant dam and wet down giant Amy. Head to Canada! Three, two, beavers! We sorry. Chinchillas trick, George. But me need help now. Jungle need big dam. Please? You just said the magic word. Uh, please? Dam. A bit of a rush job, but you'll do. Amy. Come here, cutie cutie. <laughs> Side. Ape, you man the special attacks. What is this thing? Her destruction. We talk about this, okay? Nothing but splinters. No! Never give up! George have one last idea! A hug! Brilliant, George! Brilliant! More warm! More good feeling! Other chinties treat her mean. She just need hug. Oh, 
one last question. How did you beavers know Owen's <laughs> diabolical plan? Whoa, this is awkward. Uh, we were actually gonna destroy the jungle ourselves. You know, revenge for kicking us out the first time. <laughs> Good thing you don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> we learned one thing for sure. Everybody up to something. <laughs> and how? There comes a time in every animal's life when they just can't do the things they used to. When they slow down just a bit. When time seems to have passed them by. Fortunately, the Jungle Geriatric Set has George, King of the Jungle, to help them in their golden years. Yeah. Huh? Ooh, George Fix! Could there be a more thoughtful jungle king than George? I don't think so. But I don't know for sure. I mean, it's, it's not like I've done any research or anything. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Finally, liquid time! Hey, evil doctor, leave old animals alone! What? George say, leave old animals alone! Any old animals here? Uh, I'm a mad scientist, not a monster. Then what's that? That? That is a time machine I just finished. Hey, yeah, quit yeah, it! Yeah, yeah. We stop this instead, okay? No, not okay! Not okay! <laughs> You missing parents, too? That's ten elderly animals lost in the last week. Hmm. What they all have in common? Well, they were old, they move slowly, they'd be easy to catch. Bernard! <laughs> Bad snake. Bernard no eat old animals. George no care, they taste good. Open face. Open face now. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Okay. There. You safe now, Grandma. Wait. There's something still in there. Bernard. What in the world? Ah! Ah! Ah, my back. Rover. You scaly split tongue serpent. You think you can eat us and get away with it? It's crumpets for you. What are you two jackalopes staring at? Uh, uh... Be quick about it. Wait, I know you. You're Lloyd, Lloyd of the Jungle. And you're his mentor, Gorilla. Yeah, so you're not as dumb as you look. Because you look pretty dumb. I, uh... George, Lloyd and Gorilla were our predecessors until they mysteriously vanished 50 years ago. Down this rapscallion's gullet. Ha! Still got it! A shoot, a shoot, yeah. A toast to Lloyd and Gorilla back in the jungle, safe and sound. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tell George all about being king in old times. <gasps> You fight T-Rex? First of all, it's King Lloyd to you, sideburns. Go get a haircut, you hippie. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> uh, that's not really appropriate. The only thing that's not appropriate is your slaughter of the Queen's English. You want to hear about the old days, huh? Do ya? Uh, George don't know anymore. It was tough, but that's how we liked it. We didn't swing on vines, we swung on thorns! Yes! And when Lloyd hit something, it was never a tree. Ah! Too soft! Too soft indeed! I see. Well, George and I do things a little differently now. <laughs> I bet you do. Oh, it's true! George and Ape show you! <laughs> Hey, lions, hyenas, share a water hole, okay? Or else. <laughs> or else. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> or else what? Um, or else George make everyone get along. <laughs> oh, oh, your threats are as weak as a bowl of mint jelly. <laughs> this is how you make animals behave. Ooh, it's Ooh. Oh, that hurt. Hey, she's you. That's a fine boo line. Sure is. <laughs> oh. Now they'll learn to get along. Look, Georgie boy. <laughs> I appreciate you looking after things when I was all nowhere in a steak's gut. But you're as soft as wet buckwheat. Huh? You ain't got no mustard, boy. What? We're taking our old jobs back. Got it. Um, no. That's not how this works. That's exactly how it works. Technically, they never reside. So Lloyd and Gorilla are still Jungle King and Mentor. He mean and out of touch. We make animals sad. Oh, I'll make someone else sad right now. Stop. That is not... And if Lloyd King of Jungle, then what George and Ape? Hmm. George Jester of Jungle? Ape Knave of the Jungle? Ah, quit your whining. You're lucky you still got jobs. And them fancy new hats. What the hey hey's going on here? I don't recall giving you Trunk Nose's leave to be all flappity flap flap with your ears. <laughs> if I wanted to see all these colors, I would fight a rainbow. <laughs> now mud it up, bird brains. <laughs> if you exercised them hind quarters as much as you did that mouth, you wouldn't be such a tumble lord. Hey, Hippo perfect the way Hippo is. It's called tough love, and because you let the jungle go soft, there's a lot more of it coming. George, trying to help you. Listen, Charlie, I need your help like I need another ward on my butt. Hey, I got 20 warts on my butt. <laughs> You're fired, so scram. Did George make mistake? No. I didn't think old people could be so mean either. But what we do now? There isn't much we can do. It's against jungle law to interfere with the king. Let's just go home, relax, read a good book or two, and figure it out in the morning. <laughs> the move! Find your own bed, sit, you bums. We're taking over this dump. This means war. <laughs> But it against jungle law. And it's gorilla war. We win easy, ha. Huh? They old, we young. And so George and Ape went underground to fight against Lloyd and Gorilla's old school jungle tyranny. But no matter what they tried, Lloyd and Gorilla's years of experience meant they had seen it all before and knew exactly what to do. Lloyd and Gorilla, too old for us. They're always one step ahead. George Wish never pulled them from Snake in first place. Yes, well, unless you have a time machine. Finally, now I can... I'm going back to bed. <laughs> now we just stop me and... Whoa! George, you sent us back too far. George? George, send us back, send us back, send us back! Good. No, no, that's not good. Not good at all. Ah, oh, yeah. Now this is an 18 karat jungle. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> we back. <laughs> 
I don't know who you jackalopes are, but I know I don't like you already. We George and Ape. We stuck in dinosaur land when time machine broke. It took us 50 years to make a new one. Well, I'll be. It is them. Not for long, it ain't. It's Splitsville for you two. Ha! We're older than you now. We know all the tricks. And we have time to invent new ones. Oh, it's ring a ding ding time. See, George finally understands what you mean. Kids can have the job back. Hmm. Oh, we're getting too creaky for this clam bake. Even though technically you're older than us. Okay, but George's back still hurt. Boy, you see me all the time. Point uh, still, King. Nope, nope, you're the man. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. 